Now, an asteroid that was spotted late last year by space scientists is being carefully tracked. Scientists are trying to work out whether there's a chance of it hitting the Earth, which could happen eight years from now. The Moon is far more vulnerable to asteroid impacts than Earth is. Why? Because it doesn't have an atmosphere to burn incoming space rocks to ashes. So when something big is heading our way from space, Earth may dodge it. But the Moon? Not always so lucky. And speaking of which, scientists are once again sounding the alarm about a particular space rock with a slightly dramatic personality, asteroid 2024 YR4. This isn't your average asteroid. It's got an unpredictable orbit, which has kept astronomers on their toes since the moment it was discovered. At first, when it showed up on our radar, there was a 1.3% chance it might slam into Earth. That might sound low, but when it comes to space, even a 1% risk is enough to get everyone's attention. The asteroid is expected to make its closest approach on December 22, 2032, and early calculations peg the risk of impact at roughly 1 in 83. Not exactly comforting. But here's the twist. As more data came in, the probability actually went up to 2.3%, making things a little more tense. Fortunately, scientists have since crunched the numbers again using better observations, and now they're saying Earth is basically in the clear. NASA has officially confirmed the risk is now nearly zero for us humans. But hold on, don't get too comfortable. Because while Earth might be safe, the Moon could be in trouble. Early predictions hinted at a 2% chance of a lunar impact, which already raised a few eyebrows. But now, thanks to sharper eyes in the sky, specifically the Webb telescope, scientists have updated that risk. Turns out the chance of the asteroid hitting the moon has nearly doubled, now sitting at 4.3%, or about one in every 23 flybys. That's not a number you just brush off. A new research paper lays it out pretty clearly. If 2024 YR4 collides with the Moon, it could lead to major consequences, not just for our lunar surface, but potentially for Earth, too. Depending on the exact size, estimated to be somewhere between 40 and 90 meters in diameter, it could do some serious damage. To put that in perspective, NASA believes this asteroid is around 54 meters across, which is eerily similar to the size of the object that caused the infamous Tunguska explosion in 1908. Remember that? A mysterious blast over Siberia that flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of forest without even touching the ground? The shock waves shattered windows hundreds of kilometers away, and the energy released, equivalent to several megaton bombs going off, Back in 1908, the remote wilderness of Siberia gave humanity a lucky break. The Tunguska explosion, caused by an asteroid about the same size as 2024 YR4, flattened thousands of square kilometers of forest. But because the area was sparsely populated, very few people were hurt. Now, imagine that same blast happening over a modern city. Devastating, right? But here's something even more shocking. Scientists say a similar impact on the moon could actually be worse than if it hit Earth. Why? Simple physics. Earth's thick atmosphere acts like a cosmic cushion, burning up and slowing down incoming asteroids before they ever hit the surface. The moon? No such luck. It has zero atmospheric protection, which means 2024 YR4 would smash into the lunar surface at full throttle with maximum energy and zero resistance. According to Paul Wiegert, a physicist from the University of Western Ontario and lead author of a recent study, if the asteroid does hit the moon in 2032, the result could be massive. His team estimates a 4.3% chance of impact, meaning it's unlikely but not something we can ignore. If the asteroid makes contact, it could carve out a one kilometer wide crater, releasing energy equal to 6.5 kilotons of TNT. But here's where it gets even more concerning. The blast could launch around 100 million tons of lunar debris into space. Now, not all of that debris will head our way. Most of it will either stay near the moon or float out into deep space. 
But if the asteroid strikes a particular location, like the moon's southern hemisphere on the leading edge of its orbit, things change drastically. Based on simulations, up to 10% of that debris could be flung toward Earth's neighborhood. And fast. How fast? Fast enough to become a real hazard for our satellites. Uyghur's team ran a whopping 10,000 simulations of the asteroid's possible paths. In 410 of them, the asteroid hit the moon. From those, they examined a few high-risk scenarios more closely. In at least four of those simulated impacts, debris escaped at escape velocity and headed straight for near-Earth space. This debris isn't just space dust. It's high-speed ejecta, moving quickly enough to pose a serious threat to satellites, especially those in low Earth orbit, LEO. And here's the thing, nearly 90% of our active satellites live in LEO. That includes everything from weather satellites to GPS systems and communication network. If even a small fraction of that lunar debris hits these satellites, it could lead to accelerated wear, permanent damage, or even catastrophic collisions. And unlike typical space junk, which we can often track and avoid, this debris could arrive suddenly and unpredictably, making it a much tougher challenge to mitigate. So while Earth might avoid a direct hit from 2024 YR4, we may still have a serious space hazard on our hands, one that could disrupt vital technology and services we depend on every day. Researchers warn that the most dangerous moment won't be at the time of impact, but a few days after when the ejecta from the moon's surface starts racing through space. And here's where things get dramatic. If even a small amount of that debris enters Earth's atmosphere, we could witness one of the most dazzling meteor showers in human history. Imagine a sky lit up with brilliant streaks of fire. Beautiful, yes, but born from a very real threat. Now you're probably wondering, can we stop this from happening? Well, the rising risk estimates have definitely kicked the scientific world into high gear. Right now, telescopes across the globe and in orbit are locked on to 2024 YR4, constantly refining its path with the latest data. International teams are working around the clock to ensure no detail is missed. But here's where things take a Hollywood turn. <laughs> Some researchers are seriously exploring a nuclear deflection strategy. Sounds like something out of Armageddon, right? But in reality, it's a lot less about Bruce Willis and drills, and more about advanced robotics, physics, and careful planning. The goal wouldn't be to blow the asteroid to bits. That would just turn one problem into thousands. Instead, the plan is to gently nudge the asteroid off course using what's called momentum transfer. Here's how it would work. A robotic spacecraft equipped with a nuclear device would launch on a precision-guided mission toward the asteroid. But instead of slamming into it, the nuke would be detonated at a specific distance. The heat and radiation would vaporize a small portion of the asteroid's surface, creating a burst of gas and debris, like a mini rocket blast, that would push the asteroid just enough to change its course and avoid a collision. It's bold. It's risky, and it's not without complications. Technical hurdles, political debates, and legal questions make this a last resort strategy. But scientists are taking it seriously. Why? Because not long ago, NASA ran a simulated emergency. They imagined an asteroid heading toward Earth with a 72% chance of impact and only 14 years to stop it. The result? We failed. With current technology and no early warning, we simply couldn't prevent it. So if a real threat ever emerges, be it 2024 YR4 or another lurking object, we need to be ready. And as of now, we're not. So what do you think? Should we be investing more in asteroid defense systems? Are we doing enough? Drop your thoughts in the comments, we'd love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this deep dive into cosmic threats and planetary defense, consider supporting our channel. Until next time, keep looking up, because space isn't just fascinating, it might be our next big challenge.